the first test that we did was submerging the sensor in oil and complete a worst case scenario and just see what happened to the sensor. And what we saw was really interesting because we saw that the airflow and therefore the engine um, would actually draw the oil off the sensor and the voltage output readings were a little awkward in the beginning but after a couple of cycles and when the oil was drawn off the sensor the sensor returned back to normal and would perform just as it did before it was submerged in oil. We heard rumors on the internet that oil would actually be drawn off our filters and cause the mass air sensor to fail. So we wanted to duplicate that situation and we grabbed an airbrush and hooked it up to the mass air sensor test stand and applied a constant oil feed to the sensor. And the results were interesting because we were not able to harm the sensor in any way. The third test that we performed, we added dirt to the mass air sensor. We actually grabbed ISO test dust and added this to the sensor while running the test stand. In the meantime, we were monitoring the voltage output and we saw that it didn't harm the sensor at all and we had no differences in the voltage output readings. We found out that mass air sensors are very durable and we were not able to cause one to fail.